If you're interested in learning to trade on Betfair, then visit the Bet Angel Academy, where you have detailed, structured Betfair trading courses. Or why not visit our website where you can download a free trial of Bet Angel Professional, but also visit the forum where you can get detailed images, examples, and downloadable files. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell icon if you want notification of new videos as they're released. So I'm always drawn back uh, to San Francisco and to California uh, simply because of the number of interesting and exciting things that are going on over here. And um, obviously some of them are technology related, some are industry related, um, but they very often shape and change the way that people do and think about things. And it's taught me a lot about taking risk because when you go through life, you have to take risks. A lot of people are afraid of doing things wrong and therefore they never move forward. Whereas I've actually learned that the right attitude to have is to actually take risk. You know, you take measured risk and most of the time those things will fail. Um, but as long as you learn from them and you gain something from it, then that's fine. And in fact, that encourages you to take more and more risk. And you know, but the right type of risk, you know, we're not talking outrageous risk here. You do something, it fails, so you move on. You do something, it fails, and you move on. Um, but you learn something from it each time. If you don't learn or attempt to learn from it, then you're pretty much doomed. So it's that attitude and all of the things that are going on here that bring me back year after year after year. And you know, 99 out of 100 of those things won't work. But it's not, that's not what I'm looking for. I'm just looking to learn, advance my skills, my knowledge, and I'll probably stumble across new things. I never thought I would be doing what I do for a living now, and I didn't plan it out like that, but there were loads of opportunities that I pursued, and I found an opportunity that I was willing to act on. And that's the other thing is, you know, it's okay taking risks, it's okay learning from it, but you must take action on it. Too many people are afraid of failure and never take action. So one of the things that I've learned is it's okay to do all these things. You know, there's meetings that I've had here, people that I've met that will change my life in ways that I just don't know. And if you look at the journey of my life so far, you couldn't have predicted many of the things that could have happened. So yeah, that's what brings me out, is uh, to do those things, meet those people, uh, try a few ideas, and I'll be doing the same again here. And it, it may not even be related to what I'm doing now. I'll just be looking and examining things that are going on and you just never know where that's going to lead or when that skill or knowledge that you've acquired can be put to use. So yeah, you know, there'll be things I'll, I'll be doing and there's one I'm going to do in a minute that will um, be unrelated to anything that I'm doing now, but it's just the inquisitiveness of my mind um, trying to learn new things and that will come in use at some point in the future. I just don't know how or when at this particular moment in time, but I will do it that, and that's why I tend to come here. People you meet, the companies you visit, um, the things that you see uh, trigger off your mind in ways and send you off in paths you just couldn't think possible. So I'm standing here at the Computer History Museum in Silicon Valley and behind me here is the computer that I first did some analysis on. It was the very first computer I ever touched. The first thing I did apart from Hello World was um, start looking at football matches and amazingly they've got one here. So pretty much my history in computing or my early history in computing is stood right behind me here. We've got a Commodore PET, we've got a Spectrum, we've got a Sinclair QL, we've got a, a Z80 here as well, and a BBC Micro, which you, you know, if you're of my age, you may have used at school. Well, my first ever computer was the PET, which is just over here. Um, I didn't have it, a friend of mine had one, and I used to go in his house and mess around on it. But uh, everything on this shelf here uh, represents my early attempts to win some money at gambling, because I used to sit down at one of these devices or another, for quite a few years and a Rothman's annual yearbook and then start um, coding up and looking at databases of football stats. That's pretty much where my entire career that has led to where I am now started on one of these devices or probably a few of these. But it's really interesting to see them all in one place for the first time in years. When you actively trade, um, you don't necessarily know what you're looking for. You may not have a strategy or an idea that you are necessarily pursuing, um, but you give it a go. So there are many things that I do now that um, I didn't conceive of. I didn't write down a business plan for it. It was just a case of trying something, seeing if it worked, and then learning something from it and moving on. So there are strategies every week that I run that I have no idea what 
the, the payoff's going to be or what I'll learn. But very often you look at the strategy, you analyse the data and then you sort of think, well that's interesting, I didn't think of that and I hadn't realised it was going to act like that. And then it allows you to move forward. It's, it's another sort of more elegant form of risk taking. You just constantly pursue angles, ideas. You don't write them down and think them through sometimes. They just pop into your head and you give it a go. But you know, that's the sort of attitude that I have to solving problems. You know, some of the best moments in my life have come from solving problems that just seem impossible. People disagree with you strongly about something that you say or do. Um, and yet the fact is, it's because of the thing that you discovered is so unusual and odd that people struggle to come to terms with it and those are very often the most valuable things that you can find. So yeah, my attitude to taking risk in trading markets is no different to what I do in my day-to-day -day life. I'm looking to try things, experiment, learn from them and keep moving it forward. And even if the change that you make is incrementally very small, if you keep on doing it religiously time and time again, day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year, you make enormous strides over a period of time. The moment you stop doing that is the moment that you can start going backwards. The world is a competitive place, the markets are a competitive place and so you have to keep moving forward and even if it's at a tiny pace, as long as you're moving forward that's all that you need to do. But take risks, learn, experiment, play, um, do all those things, be creative, um, just try stuff that takes your fancy and it's okay to fail as long as you learn from it. And if you do that you'll be absolutely fine in the long term.